Thanks, Paul. On behalf of the entire athletic department, I want to welcome you to the Hall of Fame. And certainly um, want to congratulate our inductees. Today, the uh, practices don't seem as long, the bus rides as uncomfortable, and certainly those early morning workouts as arduous. We've been playing athletics here for a long time, 1917. And over those many, many years, thousands of coaches and student athletes have added to the rich tradition. But only 225 have been inducted into the Hall of Fame including this group today. I think that's pretty special. This also marks a milestone year for us. This is the 40th year of the Hall of Fame. That initial group of 1975 inductees kind of reads like a hoo-hoo of the athletic department. Lorenzo Wright, Alan Talmich, David L. Holmes, Charlie Primus, Andrew Clark, those are some of the greats of athletic history. And people say, well, is there a connection between that group and now? And I say, well, maybe things are a little bit different now. You know, the athletic department does look different than 1975. I know it looks a lot different than 1917. But some things haven't changed. I mean, we've got a few more buildings. I know we got a hell of a lot more championships. And we've got some proud, great graduates. But really, the Hall of Fame is representative of all our student athletes and what they've accomplished and what they've done. That 225 represents literally thousands of individuals since 1917. When we built the Hall of Fame a few years ago, I asked the Student Advisory Committee, what does the Hall of Fame mean? And they gave me some words. Commitment, proud, perseverance, loyalty, honesty, teamwork. When you go over to the Hall of Fame area today, you'll see those words encircle the Hall of Fame area. The plaques are contained within them. But each one of those words actually tells a story, and that's what the athletic department is all about. Stories that some of us maybe haven't heard. Stories about young men who gave their lives for people they didn't know in countries they didn't understand for the cause of freedom. Coaches and student athletes who were integrated teams before people knew what the word was who refused to go to restaurants that were segregated or hotels that were segregated because the entire team wouldn't be served. They opted instead to eat at fraternity houses or boarding houses or sleep at the YMCA. Those lessons that those young men learned carried on year after year to countless others. And also, something that everybody in this room takes as ordinary, but if you're on the outside looking in, seems extraordinary. That's every day walking into a locker room or a practice field and seeing people of all different colors, backgrounds, orientations, beliefs. People have come from all different cross countries of this great country and outside of it, all working together for a common purpose. Trust me, I've been to a lot of conference meetings in my lifetime. Wayne State looks different than other schools. And that's a good thing. The lessons that those young people learn from those coaches, from those experiences, develop into lasting friendships. And those lasting friendships change everybody's lives. Rochelle, Molly, Dante, John, Sean, thank you for adding your stories to our rich history. And thank you for once again strengthening our foundation. Congratulations.